Good morning, welcome to Skate Award YouTube channel and today I have the VB scripting for WinCC training. On the Friday we started our WinCC VB scripting and right now I want to introduce this also for the YouTube channel. So this is the one all-in-one toolkit for VB scripting in WinCC doesn't matter if you work with WinCC V7 or the TIA portal. All things are working with the scripting inside the TIA portal and WinCC V7, but also this knowledge is good for the Wonderware in touch and some other like the HIME panels. So before you had the problems with the scripting, there is a lot of materials on the YouTube, but it's not the straight way how to learn this step by step ABC. So this one is for any technical electrician and engineer to get VB scripting skills. So let's take a look on this page. So generally, it's for any electrical technician and engineer finally learn to create maintenance and understand the VB scripting just in few hours so you get this skill in few hours. So every time if you spend uh, a lot of hours searching some materials information to get some scripting by your own you are angry, frustrated that you don't know how to make this, how to get started. Maybe you would like to learn the VB scripting but no materials on the internet and the YouTube material is not so easy to follow. B by this scripting training you can get your VB scripting skill just in few hours without any programming background. So we take your hand and we take you step by step with all things you need to know inside the VB scripting for WinCC, SCADA systems like the V7.5 and the TIE portal. So this one for who? Uh, for non-technical beginners so you get the VB scripting for WinCC step by step with our trainings. For any WinCC engineers who develop SCADA applications or you are just the maintenance where you want to learn about the diagnostic things. Anyway, for the people who finally want to start, for people who want to learn the VB scripting from A to Z. So what's included in this training? So in this training you get the easiest way to create the VB scripting for WinCC and you will get this by the practice. So it's 100 practice so you get the knowledge by the practice examples, the learning step by step with videos. So this is the practical application of VB scripting. We will create some script inside our SCADA the same like you need to make inside your SCADA. Until now it's about 11 hours of video recording, useful links and tools, checklists, etc. You get the step-by-step -step tutorials. So you go with videos step-by-step -step and you learn this step-by-step. -step. It's the best option for anything. Just you know my style on the YouTube, the same it's in the uh, WinCC VB scripting training and you get the all things uh, as a good way for the programmer. You get all scripts as a possible to download by the PDF so you can take them and you can use inside your SCADA. You get that certificate of this training. You get lifetime and unlimited access. So it's the best option to anyone who wants to start and who wants to make something maybe later. Take this and make sure you have your spot saved. 
So what we have insight about the agenda? The first of all is a game plan. So we talk how to go with description of course, how to study requirements, homework, how to join the private group, etc. The introduction to VB, the first VB inside the WinCC, the editor, the Windows script, element script, the first scripting in button, in the function, in the global actions, etc. And you get homework for you. The VB scripting diagnostic, this one is really important for any maintenance to get knowledge what kind of scripting can corrupt your SCADA. So this is all about the GSE diagnostic comments, script diagnostic way to, to find something, the trace functions, the debugger function, error handling, etc. This one you have to know be before you make some scripting for the SCADA because you can kill your SCADA. The next one, tips and tricks by the tag browser, object browser, control space, intelligent things inside your WinCC. The cross reference is also really nice. After this, we go from basic functions like the variables, the constants, arithmetic, comparison, logical operators, etc. Also about the message box functions in the VB colors and the RGB function. The next one is the statements. We go from scratch. So we go if, if function, if else, and the switch select case. This one you get so you will know the programming languages inside the WinCC. The next one is the loops. We take our loops, each one, and we go through with examples. So you get knowledge how to use this in real application and what kind of info you need to uh, avoid to don't destroy your SCADA. So it's really important. After this, we go with the numbers and the strings. The numbers is about the conversion to numbers conversion to string, convert hex and the hex to back to decimal, uh, some formatting functions like the format number, percent, currency, etc. And after this, we will calculate some mathematical functions like the int, fix, log. This one is important if you calculate something in SCADA. The next one is the strings. Every time we send some strings into the PLC or read data from some mess uh, ERP systems, we need to play with this kind of strings compression. How to cut some strings, how to delete some spaces, how to delete some um, special characters so do, don't destroy the SQL table, etc. It's important. The date and time Every time we go with some reporting, with operator audit trail, we need to go with date and time because our SCADA is always using the date and time and we need to know how to calculate the actual date and time, how to move our date, for example, 19 days from now, how to take out some date parts like the month, day, hour, etc how to format the format date time functionality and the 11 module the module number 11 is about the objects object inside the wincc v7 and also wincc tia portal objects how to interact something with the active x objects how to work with the dotnet controls how to find the good VB scripting for the .NET uh, parameters. Excel objects, Internet Explorer objects, also working with WSH for the Windows. After this, of course, it's the homework. The model number 12 is about the file system. How to work with Windows file system and how to work with Windows CE file system. It's different kind of uh, working with this kind. So 
The lecture 4 is about the Excel, Word and Files, so it's really important for your application and for your reporting. The XML it's used for the mass ERP systems and you need to know how to make the XML, how to read and write the data to and from XML files. The HTML, the new way of the reporting system or make something, mm, some printouts of your SCADA. You can use the HTML file. The VB scripting performance. This one is also important because sometimes it's better to process the read data from process image, but sometimes it's better to use the reading and writing data just directly from the controller from the PLC and you need to know how to make the scripting working and which one is faster. And for example, how to calculate the script time consumption. So if you have the big script and you need to know how much milliseconds your script is running. So you need to know how to make the inside the engineering mode, how much time takes to make this script running. This, the third way is the five biggest mistakes that everyone makes during the VB scripting. And this one I will show you some mistakes that uh, even me I'm doing uh, <laughs> sometimes. Uh, after this you get the challenge because until now it's 13 modules you get knowledge about the basic things and you get the challenge so check what you know about the VB scripting inside the WinCC and you get the graduate test. So this one show you which one you should uh, take a look again and which one you need to learn more often. So it's good to find your weak mm, points of your knowledge about the VB scripting for the WinCC. And as a bonus, I give you the examples ready to use scripting. Until now you get only mm, about 15 scripting read data, how to stop the runtime by scripting, how to show height layers with the WinCC runtime. It's the basic, it's, it's nothing uh, uh, hard. The advanced options, how to make the CSV files with the specific format, how to work with the SQL connection string, how to insert some records to SQL table, and some other is advanced it's it's not so hard but it's not the basic and the examples ready to use scripting the pro it's how to use for example raw data blocks and save 3000 euro on the license this is the case study of my history so how to display time with milliseconds it's you can't get this from internet how to read for example, 100 record set and write them into the WinCC tags, for example, for the PLC. How to make the audit operator input. So every time operator makes some changes inside the SCADA, you can make your own audit trials. Of course, you can buy the audit trial uh, license that costs 1000 euro or you can make your own and you can save 1000 euro. But this one is example ready to use scripting. You take this and you can copy paste into your SCADA and you can save a lot of money. So this is just the agenda. Of course you get also that certificate. You did the VB scripting for WinCC and you can just make there in your resume and CV that you did your VB scripting. Let's say every time we search for a new position, we need to update our CV and you need to give your future uh, company that you learn something personally, you, you did something uh, by your own. 
So this is the agenda. You get the bonuses. These bonuses are worth really, really big money. So, and you get the FIQ. You can ask about the mm, something. Mm. And of course you have the 30 days of uh, money back for 30 days. It's nothing special. We always give this to any students. It's running with our training. So if you want to learn finally the VB scripting for WinCC, you should go to the all-in-one toolkit for the VB scripting for WinCC and you should get started fast because right now the price is really low. Get started and uh, join our private group. Soon this price will go higher. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in next videos and see you in the classroom. Bye.